Greetings. Welcome back for an installment of Ask Zax. You may notice that there isn't any video. It's pretty much because I'm being a lazy bastard right now and don't feel like getting out my camera. So, pretty much just gonna deal with the sound bite. If you get bored, then don't bother continuing watching. Go watch like some anime MV or South Park clips or whatever else you do on YouTube. But if you're bored, that's your own problem. Entertain yourself. First question is from Sri Ray. She idiotically says you can't compare sales of seven books to four in reference to when I had answered a question regarding the sales margins last time, which I actually had only compared the seventh book to the sales of all four. So that was just one to it. She asked how Meyer's fourth book is comparing to Rowling's fourth book, which, com considering that Rowling's fourth book is vastly outselling the entirety of Meyer's series, it's a pretty stupid question to ask. Obviously, Rowling's fourth book is doing far much better than Meyer's fourth book. And she also asks, how does a fangirl who speaks Arabic count as stupid? Pretty much in the same way as any other fangirl would count as stupid. Knowledge does not deprive you of the right to be stupid. She asks also, what is my definition of stupid? Which, I don't make up my own personal definitions of words. I'm not Meyer. So, if you want to know my definition, quote-unquote, of stupid, um, let's see what Dictionary.com says. Uh, lacking ordinary quickness and keenness of mind, dull, characterized by or proceeding from mental dullness, foolish, senselessness, tediously dull, due to lack of meaning or sense, inane, pointless, annoying or irritating, troublesome, in the state of stupor, stupefied, um, a stupid person, slow to learn or understand, obtuse, tending to make poor decisions or careless mistakes, marked by a lack of intelligence to care, foolishness or carelessness, dazed, stunned, stupefied, pointless, worthless, uh, mentally slow, lacking or marked by lack of intellectual acuity, in a state of mental numbness, especially as resulting from shock, lacking intelligence. Yeah, so, that's pretty much the answer to that. The X Shattered asks, what do you think of the leak of Midnight Sun and Stephanie Myers refusing to do it because of it violating her rights as an author and a human being and because she is too sad to write because of what happened? Um, well, considering Bella's a self-insert and the entirety of New Moon can be summarized with That's basically my opinion of what she's doing now. Or, the person asks, What do you think of Stephanie Meyer's reaction about the leak in general? Boo. Fucking. Who. If anything, it's potentially a publicity stunt. Otherwise, you know, she's actually that pathetic. Inferno asks, With Jacob being one of your favorite characters, how did you initially react or feel when you read Breaking Dawn's spoilers of him becoming pedophilic for Bella and Edward's demon spawn and the twist that his tribe were not werewolves at all? Let's see, about the part of him becoming pedophilic. Well, Meyer had already taken him outside his canon behavior in Eclipse, so considering Breaking Dawn is better titled Breaking Canon, it didn't surprise me at all. It just makes Meyer even more of a hack. And as far as the twist where his tribe were not werewolves at all, well... Meyer says that they're shapeshifters and the shapeshifters can transform to 
what in particular animal, and the entire tribe is a group of shapeshifters that turn into wolves. Considering that werewolves are shapeshifters that turn only into wolves, they're still werewolves, so Meyer's just that much more stupid. I mean, she's planning on writing a story about mermaids, only not mermaids as everyone else knows. She's going to call them sirens. Well, she has a tendency of her being even more of a hack in regards to following folklore. I mean... Mermaids are obviously half person, half fish, and siren. For those who don't know, they are creatures that are half man, half bird. So how she goes from half fish people to half bird people? She doesn't do her research. She is a fucking hack. Don't give her your money. Amy asks. If Midnight Sun ever actually releases, and dear God, she hopes she doesn't, are you going to do an abridged for that too? Yep. Shmele Araki asks, How did you discover Twilight? Basically, I was on a message board I was in the writing section of it, and I saw a bunch of spam in regards to Twilight. Mostly Twilight fan fictions in the main section of the forum, even though there's a specific subform for it, so... Of course, being the law-abiding message board user I am, I directed them to stick it up their ass and go <laughs> into the fan fiction forum. But then I went into the books section of that same website, and decided to check into what it is and oh my god I could not believe that something this horrible was actually published but because it actually was hey it's fair game once it's out in the public eye anyone can do whatever they want with it including me ripping it up to all hell and that's how I discovered Twilight Nick Jonas 171 asked, I know I'm sounding really rabid, but hasn't this gone on long enough? Never! Okay. And that's that for this installment of Ask Zax. Be sure to ask more questions so I can do another one at some point. And just so y'all know, I may do another overly dramatic reading and one more Twilight Abridged before the holidays which I hope to have both of those up by Wednesday night. And then I will be taking a vacation from YouTube land, and I will see y'all after the new year. So, have fun. And remember, if you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong.